don't think we'll end up getting up to 100 degrees in Portland. I know you're so disappointed, um, but because we do have wildfire smoke present, air quality is also suffering. And in some cases, as you can see right here, Seaside, it's also making uh, things look a little bit gloomier than we would normally see them, considering the conditions are high pressure. We should have more sunshine. 67 right now for you, and if you're heading out there to Seaside, expect a large crowd. You know what's going on this weekend? It's the Seaside Beach Volleyball event. So that's happening all the way through Sunday, so your scene's going to look just like that. How about your temperatures for the weekend? Uh, similar to today, tomorrow we're expecting about 68 degrees with those overnight temps in the low 50s. Uh, tomorrow, you, again, you're going to have kind of that hazy look, that filtered sunshine. By Sunday, you're going to see more of that blue sky, partly cloudy conditions and a temperature right around 66. Let's talk about water temperatures. So if you're heading out to get some relief from the heat, uh, keep in mind uh, our own Liz Birch, she was out at Cannon Beach uh, today and she was talking about sea surface temperatures. It is dramatically cooler out there compared to some of our river temperatures. Last week we had some temperatures um, recorded at the buoys right along Tillamook Bay of 49 degrees. Right now currently 52. But 52, that is some cold water. Columbia River going through Vancouver, 71. Willamette River going through Portland, 76. Clackamas, 73. And we have some cold temperatures here. Sandy, 66. Deschutes through Bend, 62. Okay, visibility because of the wildfire smoke, not looking so great. Hood River, 5. The Dalles, 4. Vancouver, 8. Astoria, you're still looking good. At least 10 miles of visibility. Visibility does improve as you get towards McMinnville, and then it gets worse as you get closer to Medford. So we have our winds aloft coming straight out of the south, southeast. So we're pulling in California's wildfire smoke and dragging it right across our state. So this is what you see right here, where you see the purple and the red indicates some pretty thick smoke in the upper levels of our atmosphere, and some of that also spreading to the surface. So we get into Saturday. Hey, 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 look at that. Seen some of that smoke. Push back over to the east. Go back that way. A stronger westerly flow is going to help us out. You'll notice that in Portland by uh, tomorrow late in the day and especially by Sunday. By Sunday noon, now you're starting to see a little bit more of that blue sky. But air quality is still going to be very tough from Medford over across eastern Oregon, central Oregon, a portion of the gorge, the Dalles, you'll see some, some small improvements by Sunday. But look at that out towards Enterprise and eastern Washington. You are still going to be dealing with some level of unhealthy air. This is what we have right now. In Portland, it's anywhere from moderate to unhealthy for sensitive groups. Hood River to the Dalles, unhealthy. Uh, from Cottage Grove over to uh, Medford, you're unhealthy. Uh, to very unhealthy, and uh, you get the picture here. All the red dots indicate unhealthy air. What about tomorrow in Portland? We expect again with some slight improvements, we could have the good category right around 10 o'clock in the morning and then returning to the moderate category for the afternoon. Your temperature right now is 95 degrees. We're going to be in the mid 80s right around 10 o'clock this evening. There's your seven day forecast. So when does it finally cool off? Really not until Monday, about 82. Some small changes here. By Sunday, we're at 94. Uh, and then we'll see an uptick again in our temperatures next week in the low 90s. I'll get into those details about whether or not that means we can expect more wildfire smoke in our vicinity again coming up in the 5 o'clock hour. Happening.